welcome back to my channel and today's look is actually my birthday look as I promised in my previous video. I wanted to do something very glamorous but yet I wanted to keep myself on the very neutral side. So and I know a lot of you had requested to use the naked palette. This can also be a holiday look because it has a little bit of um, glitter in it and if you do not want to make it this glamorous you can just skip out the glitter part and just have the eyeshades and you're good to go with the lipstick you can change the lipstick you can have a quarterly shade you can have pink you can wear red also it's gonna look super glamorous so yeah but this is what I decided to do for my look just to let you know that this headpiece is from Aldo and I got it like a couple of months back so if you guys are staying in Dubai I've recently seen it it's there in the stock so you can buy it it's one of my favorite headpieces and I am wearing hair extensions by OPW I'll just show it to you So I hope you guys um, enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. So using Sarah Artist Tree brush, this is uh, more like a dense brush and I'm going to use Naked as a base shadow. And what I'll do is I'm going to just stick it up on my brow bone as well. After this I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm using all Sarah Artistry brushes today and I'm going to use Buck Shadow and this is basically going to be like a transition shade. So I'm going to start in the crease line like so soft movements and then go a bit circular and I'm going to slowly and gradually just lift it up a little bit then using a flat brush I'm going to take sidecar so just wet the brush a little bit and then put it on your lid What you need to do is you need to sort of press the shade in. So this is what I'm doing. You need to really press the shade in in order to get maximum color. Yeah, then I'm going to use Creep Shade. And this is what I'm going to do. So with the tip, you're going to hold the brush from a distance and then with the point, you just So you're going to cut the crease like so. Then again coming to the fluffy brush you're going to take the same creep color and we're going to use it over here and we're just going to soften up the line. We're going to use this as an outer shade. And then going back to the flat brush, we're going to take the sidecar again. So what I'm doing is I'm going to clean my crease in order to make it look even more perfect. So I'm just going back again, like so. Then I'm going to take a lighter shade, Virgin, and I'm going to use it in my inner corners just to brighten up and I'm gonna go on my bottom lash as well right so wipe the brush and take smog just a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend smog with the silver and gray shade that we've put on just to give it a little bit of shade Again, taking the pencil brush what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take back and I'm gonna use it on my bottom lash Ow. Yes, bottom lash like so and I'm going to take sidecar as well and I'm going to use it a 
over here. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood highlighter, I'm going to use this with a precision brush. It could be a concealer brush and what I'm doing is I'm going to just lift my brow bone a little bit because I wanted to sort of give it a little glam look. So just a little bit. So I'm not going all the way down, just a little bit. It's like creating a little line like this. Now I'm using Champagne Wishes Loose Glitter. This is from Peaches and Cream. Now if you don't have loose glitter, you can use um, the glitter liners from Urban Decay. But I have this and it's like actually a very pretty shade. I wish I could show it to you. I'm going to take another fluffy brush and I'm going to use Glitter Fixator. Again, this is by Peaches and Cream. I'm just going to take a little bit on the hand. And I'm going to just stipple my brush like this and I'm gonna take the glitter from here just a little and I'm going to put it on my lids like so so if you feel like you want to use a little bit more of your you can use as much as you want but just be careful with loose glitter because it tends to get quite messy there you go using my NYX liner I'm going to create a line I'm gonna actually make um, a normal wing liner I'm not going very intense I'm gonna use my black eye pencil this is by Urban Decay so I'm using my Scarlet and Samantha lashes. I've just combined them together. Okay, now I'm going to do my bottom lash. I'm using my Sigma mascara, like always. So for my lips, I'm using World Pencil. I'm going to use Sepia Lip stick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a very um, grayish brown color. Mm. Okay, so this is like a super dark brown shade. Uh, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Butterscotch Lip Gloss on top of it just to sort of tone down the shade. I'm just going to blot lipstick because it's going to take away the deep gray shade and now I'm going to use the lip gloss again okay today I used um, medium shade 52 by Kat Von D and I blended it with Hello Flawless with champagne then I used my shade to light contour kit again from Kat Von D to brighten my eyes, I've used MAC Pro Long Concealer NC20 and this is L'Oreal True Match Ivory Shade. This is one of my best brightening combinations that I've, I've, I've personally ever discovered, so I love them. This gorgeous peachy shade by Elamasca as a blush. I don't have the name on this because this was um, given to me way back and they, they were supposed to launch it. So I don't have the name but I'll find it out and I'll put it in my description box down. Just to brighten up and set my concealer, I've used Sephora Bright Set 01 Banana. Of course, for highlight, I have used Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood. Let me know in your comments what you think about it and I will see you next time. Again, of course, with another makeup tutorial. Till then, you take good care of yourself. I will see you. Bye. Mwah.